Hello there and welcome to the Field Fan Critic. Today I'm going to be reviewing 20th Century Women. Now as you can tell if you've watched my Oscar sort of what I want to win video, then you know I really like this film. I, th I think from the moment that I first watched it, like the first scene when the music hits, you feel this is a special film, which is very, very rare, and, you know, a lot of films it takes time to get into, but this film, straight away, you just feel it in your bones, that this can be a great film. This is directed by Mike Mills, who did Beginners, which is a very good film, you can definitely tell the similarities in the style of the film, um, and I, I think this really... Does. I, I really enjoy this style. The first cutting, you see it's a lot of Swiss Army Man, um, it's especially during the cave scene, but, and this is a bit more consistent throughout, and I just love films that can capitalise on that sort of editing, because it just makes it feel better. And, you know, a lot of people say show, don't tell, and in this case, not all of it's linked, but it works, if you, if you know what I mean. Like uh, during the Reagan scene, which is in one of the trailers. Was it Re yeah, it was Reagan, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. If I'm wrong, correct me on that. But it showed lots of materialistic things. It was talking about things, which I, I thought was a very good touch. The performances are absolutely top notch. And Aunt Benning is amazing. Billy really up, absolutely outstanding. Um. Greta Gerwig showed a lot of complexity in her role, and I think Elle Fanning, again, also showed a lot of complexity, but in a completely different way. I think they were very opposite characters. Um, I think McKinnis, as the name's like, um, she something, I'm actually looking up at this current moment, that's right, Lucas J. De Zerman. Zerman. I think he's, well, a lot of young actors in Midnight Special, lots of different other films, has got a great career coming in front of him, and I think that, you know, he keeps getting himself some decent roles, he will be one of the next big things, along with Jacob Tremblay, although his career really took Careful with the 2016 with that film, like shutting or something like that. Apparently, absolutely terrible. I haven't watched it, but you know, film's terrible when you get zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Just clear. Overall, I think this film really is a must see, especially if you want to create soundtracks and if you want to have a different type of editing style for directors and editors themselves. I think this is a must watch and if you're just an everyday film fan, watch it because it's very enjoyable. I think this definitely should have got a best picture nomination which I think you can tell through my nominations I personally gave it. I hope you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.